Outrage mounting in San Francisco over the district attorney's decision not to charge a Walgreens security guard in the shooting death of a 24-year-old. In response, Brooke Jenkins announced today that she won't release the video evidence of that shooting, at least not yet. NBC Bears' Robert Honda picks up the story. Black Lives Matter! Supporters of the shooting victim have taken to the streets to pressure District Attorney Brooke Jenkins to release videotape of the Walgreens incident. This demonstration Sunday came just two days before the Board of Supervisors meeting. The public anger is over the shooting death of 24-year-old Banco Brown, who was allegedly shot and killed by a store security guard April 28th following an apparent confrontation over shoplifting allegations. District Attorney Jenkins decided not to press criminal charges charges against the guard and said in a statement today she would not release any security camera video or other evidence since the investigation into the shooting is ongoing. Jenkins pointed out she could still file charges against the guard depending on any new information. Supervisor Shaman Walton, the co-author of a proposal going before the board demanding video evidence be made public, scoffed at Jenkins' reasoning. Videos get released all the time by police departments during investigations and it's important that that video be released so we can be transparent about what happened, what actions took place, because at the end of the day, even if someone was stealing something from Walgreens, execution is not the consequence for that. Supporters of Brown, who organized Sunday's protest, declined to comment on the DA statement, but said they plan a vigil at City Hall and Walgreens tomorrow to support Walton's proposal at the board meeting. But even Walton isn't sure what will happen next. Uh, I'm not sure how it affects it. It, it seems like the DA DA has decided to be deaf uh, in terms of not listening to community, not listening to us as a board of supervisors. Regardless of today's developments, the proposal demanding more transparency will go before the board of supervisors tomorrow at 2 p.m. as planned. And there is expected to be a very emotional public comment period before the vote. In San Francisco, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.